come to me. When the down, you come to come to me. It's not over. 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 It's the one thing a man wants in life is somebody. I don't listen. I love you all, but I'll tell you what. The, the best of all I want is for my wife. Everybody can say how great I am. If she doesn't say it, doesn't mean anything. But it's true. I remember when we were dating. I was playing. I was playing football at the time, and um, she came late to my game. And you know when you can hear the voice.
she's a woman of strength. You need to understand that's the reason why, as a woman, you need to invest in yourself so that the man can labor with you. Hmm. She's not just an ordinary woman. You saw Queen Esther what they did. A law that could never be changed. The law of me and Persia was changed by a woman. So, I don't care how pretty you are, you go get an education. If you don't get an education, go get a trade. Go to get a job. Invest in yourself. I told all my daughters, I would tell them this. I mean, they, 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 they say yes. I said, let nobody tell you you're not pretty. Nobody. You don't have to conform to what Bo said. You don't have to conform to what society says. You are the complete obstacle. You're pretty, you're intelligent, you're strong, you're wise, and you are a threat. Give the Lord a clap of you. By the same token, a faithful man, glory to God, a faithful man is no ordinary man. He is God's representation to the woman. Hmm. About? No, I have so he has to be a godly man. Hmm. I'm not saying that he has to wear the Pope's dress, glory to God. <laughs> but the number one thing that a man has to do has to be a godly man. He called Abraham a faithful man. God so Abraham, so faithful. Why? Because he said he will keep that if I give it. He will teach it to his children. He will teach it to his generation. He will live the example. In my, my children, there's a little problem. They go to their mom. When the problem gets way out there, then it's very hard to step in. That is the role of the man. The role of a husband is a provider. And when we talk about provision, we are not talking about just putting food on the table. Because most men, what else do you want me to do? I put food on the table, I put it on the table, I put it on No! Let's look at God. He's a very present help in time of work. He that keeps us together by the place of work. He's never tired. And never tired. What provision does a woman need? Emotional provision. Most times, we men, we ignore it. In the, in the, in the, in the, in the equity. We don't see it. Emotional support. God knows us. That means you need to study your spouse. Oh, Lord, have mercy. God watches over us every time. He knows our needs. He looks at us. Sometimes he anticipates our needs. A man is a provider, he has to provide emotional support. Not as well, especially when women have when women have children. Sisters, then now, when you have children after a while, do you feel like your father? Oh, yes. Do you feel like for what I'm doing is just another time for a man to step in? That's the part of a man who said that and said, you know what, baby, you're still hot, so it is a You can read my bell any day, any time, but it is a guy. It's not a genius. I can't have to every time. The man, it's in God, men say, I don't really talk. You need to tell your wife, I love you. It's very definite. Come on, talk it. 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 It's very, very important. You need to speak to your spouse. You need to let her know. Baby, oh God, I saw this morning, I said, baby, why did you change that? I saw that white one. He said, no, no, it's too much. <laughs> I want you to distract me. Go ahead, old man. Distract the heck out of me. I don't care. Distract me all the way. There will be no baby this time, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> very, very important that we understand it. We need, we're looking for a faithful man. 